Jesus did away with the sin of Adam. But he didn't do away with the sinful nature that Adam acquired as part of the likeness of God to know good and evil. Jesus did not die for man's sinful nature. He died for the sins of Adam. He removed the penalty. He paid the penalty to remove the power and the consequences of human sin. So I can make a few statements. I can make some conclusions, not assumption. I can draw some conclusion based on the word of God. One. There is no human sin on this 14th day of January of 2010 that will send a person to hell or keep them from going to, he to heaven. Absolutely not one single human sin flowing from Adam that will keep a person out of heaven or send them to hell. The Jewish people don't go, can't go to hell because of Adam's sin because God pardoned them in fulfillment of his promise to Abraham. And he wrote about it in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4. Hear you, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. And then in verses uh, Deuteronomy um, what, 7, 6 through 9, God told him, I, didn't, I chose you. I didn't choose you because you were deserving to be chosen. That was a unilateral decision in fulfillment of my promise to Abraham. So the Jewish people don't go to hell because of Adam's sin. They already been paid for. Now, do they go to hell because they fail to keep or obey the Mosaic law? Absolutely. Some do. Absolutely. Okay. Some go to hell because they fail to keep the Mosaic law. They abandon God. Then some go to hell because they rejected Jesus. So you got, they have a, they have a double dose. How about those pagans? Those non-Jewish people from all nations and ethnic people groups. What sends them to hell? There is no pagan, no heathen that goes to hell because they commit a human sin. Not a one. Zero. Because God demonstrates his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He tasted death for every man. But his death did not save a single soul. His death was the basis. I wish I could get this through to those men and women up at Harvard and United Church of Christ. That Jesus' death didn't save anyone. He was given up to die to pay the penalty, but he was raised from the dead for our justification because God was satisfied with the payment. 
Now, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He who believes in Jesus is not condemned, but he who believes not is condemned already. Why? You're condemned because you have not believed. The only thing that will send a Gentile, uh, a heathen, pagan, uh, a non-Jewish person, the only thing that will send them to hell is their lack of faith in Jesus Christ. And the only thing that will make them acceptable to God is faith in his son. F-O-D. Faith, obedience, and dependency on God. Sin. As a human being, oh, I got one more, Christian. Whoa, a Christian. There are no sins, period, that will send a Christian to hell. A Christian can't go to hell if he wanted to. A born, true born again Christian cannot go to hell even if they want to. It's all this here jumping out of God's hand and all that stuff. That, that, that's somebody's, that's man's imagination. First Corinthians chapter 3 verses 11 through 15 says that a, a born again believer in Jesus Christ cannot be condemned to hell. Uh, Romans 8, 1 to 2. Romans 5, uh, 1 to 5. Uh, John 3. 18. So, sin and death. For a born again Christian, no problem. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And if you're truly a born again Christian, you can't go to hell if you want to. But people are still making money by, by telling people that they can. And come listen to me and I'll tell you how that you don't, you can keep from going. Nah, waste your money. If you're truly born again, if you know Jesus, you can't go to hell if you want to. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.